All right, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I am reclaiming my space around me. I am changing my room and uh, a lot of situations in my life. Um, I used to do a lot of spoken poetry after meditating. So I would meditate for 12 to 15 minutes and then I would write down um, what came to mind. Uh, flow of consciousness and uh, I stopped doing it for a while and my space I was living in um, became toxic and uh, I felt blocked and I felt I couldn't connect to my higher consciousness any longer because I the people I lived with were of low consciousness and um, toxicity and that seeps into your spirit. And um, I'm back home. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to take this time and uh, really recreate my space and recreate who I am and um, do what I do best, which is sharing unfiltered. And that's the the power of the poetry I write, which is from the heart, open, unthought, unedited, unfiltered. Um, it's the best way I know how, because when I try to finagle things or make it perfect or be good, it's it turns out like crap. And... Um, I believe God speaks through people. I made a post yesterday. Um, but you got to be willing to listen. And you got to be willing to be the vessel for uh, God and higher purpose, higher power. So let's do a spoken word poetry. Let's see where it goes. Huh? <clears throat> People will let you down. Everyone at some point has the ability to let you down. It's not about love. It's not about family. It's not about friends. It's not about who you trust at the moment or what you think uh, someone's intention will be everyone at some point will let you down your mother your father your sister and your brother when you don't give trust to a higher power the world of suffering Will bring you down it will let you down every time people will let you down the expectation of what you want in this world will always slip away farther and farther no matter how no matter how hard you try don't believe in a god don't believe in higher power then what are you living for Yourself, material, nothing goes with you in the grave except the soil around your feet and the mistakes made, the regrets paid, and you lay there in sand and stone, empty. 
unfulfilled. God uses us as a vessel when we allow ourselves to be open to creation, when we allow ourselves open to the world around us, we can be used, but only through higher power, only through his name, all glory to God. And religion and scriptures pit us against each other. And that universal message of love and unity and community and humbleness and gratitude and power of unity, power of oneness, the focus of one intention is shattered through organized religion. I'm right. You're right. He's going to hell. She's not going where I'm going. Praise this, praise that, praise false gods. We live in a world of distraction, emptiness, things that fire your neurons towards dopamine towards band-aids of the pain we all feel. But if you don't find that fulfillment in something higher than yourself, you'll always come up empty-handed. You always say, okay, what's next? Trust me, you could be as high as the sky. You could be towers upon towers built on this earth. You can build the tallest pyramid to the sky and say, I made it. And you'll still feel empty. You'll still be quenched for more. So friends, I encourage you, not in any traditional religious sense, to find yourself through higher power to sit and meditate with God, to sit and meditate in the highest vibration possible. Allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to feel things of the past, things you wish that were. There's something about trusting When you can trust your path, you can allow for all the disappointment to go to the wayside because you know ultimately that you're heading towards something greater than yourself. And that's why why I say you cannot serve yourself constantly. You must serve something higher than you. The people that come in your life, the opportunities that come in your life, it's all to teach. It's all to build the soul level within you. Our time on this earth is short. What do you have? 60 years, 70 years, 80, 90, 100, if you're lucky. Some don't even have the opportunity of 10, 20. You don't know how much time you have. So ultimately, if you base yourself completely on the physical and the career around you and the, the, I got to get ahead today for this financial gain. I I heard a quote today that said, most people know more about their house and their car than their bodies. And I would add to that, 
and say most people know more about their house, their car, their mortgage than their own spirituality and their own connection with something higher than themselves. And it's terrifying, right? It is scary to think there's something beyond this of what we're experiencing. But we're all on this ride together. <laughs> There's a bug on my phone. I thought it was on my face. Um, that's funny. So anyways, let's encourage each other. No matter what creed and religion you come from, be open to helping those around you. Don't try to implement your ideas of what is right. Be accepting. Be loving. Show through compassion. Show through example. Don't talk about change. Don't talk about your savior. Be, be that. Show up as that. Help somebody. If you have an opportunity, help somebody below you. Invite them out. If you are religious, if you are in a church, invite them to your church. Include them. If you know somebody's going through something difficult in their life, engage with them. Be there for them in a way that is not because of a scripture telling you to do so, but that you are a vessel of helping them through that time and let God work through you, whatever that means to you, right? Because if we get too stuck on, I'm Christian, I'm, I'm Muslim, I'm this, I'm that, we're all separating. And that, it, that, doesn't, that doesn't reach you, that shuts down the conversation, that shuts down your opportunity to be more for your neighbor, to love one another as thyself, to love your neighbor. When you see someone down, that's you. When you see somebody going through a breakup and their life's falling apart, that's you. You've experienced that. Whether it's been in this life or another, you have experienced that. So when you see somebody homeless, down and out, drugged out on fentanyl, that's a version of yourself that didn't work out. That's a version of yourself that didn't have parents, that didn't have the luxury of a Christian background or an educated background. Oh, I got to go to Harvard because I was born into this family that had the resources for Harvard. Like that homeless person is you with those circumstances that they were dealt. So when you don't, when you separate yourself from people or religion, you're creating divide. It's so cliche, but love con <laughs> so cliche, but love conquers all. That is that is a truth statement. That is true through any kind of structure. Unconditional love. There is no condition. Hey, I see you. I love you. I know what you're going through. I can't say I'm exactly where you're going through, but I send you love. I invite you to this gathering. I include you in whatever, my gym session. Come work out with me. Like showing love without condition. And if people don't want it, that's okay too. You don't take it personally because there is no condition. It's just showing people the love within yourself. You have that power. And that's the basis. That's the baseline. And in this digital era, we're able to share this with each other. We're able to translate language. We're able to cross barriers that have divided us for thousands and thousands of years, tens of thousands through a millennia, through time and extinction and separation everyone says I've got it right I've got it figured out 
you guys have no idea. You're missing the point. Like, it's semantics. Stay on the journey. I always am. I pray to God that he speaks through me. I don't want this to be of my own ego. Um, but I feel I'm on this planet to share my experiences. So I stay within that light and um, I'm open to being wrong. But if you resonated with this, I'm happy. All right. See you guys on the next one.